Okay, I'm going to quickly um, show you how to build a report inside of BI360. Um, just a couple of things. Uh, one, you see that I have a blank sheet in Excel and I have all of my data. This is not just my ERP data, but it's all of the data across my organization. So you see things like my payroll. This could be an external payroll pr um, product. You see that I have things like Google Analytics. Um, you could have your CRM system in here, really, or really any information across the organization. And I can build a report by pulling um, payroll information into the same report where I would be pulling in general ledger information. So I can report off of all of the information inside of all the modules in BI360. So uh, I'm going to start by building you a trial balance. And here you can see I've opened up my general ledger. I have all the dimensions associated with um, my general ledger and I will start to format the report really quickly. So I'll do a trial balance, as I said. And format all the rest of my columns. So I could come back and change this at any point in time. So if my column widths are not exactly correct when I run the report, um, I can come back and adjust this uh, afterwards. So put in my account here. all my headers. And now I'm just going to start pulling in the information. So here's my account. I drag my account in. As soon as I drag the account in, it's asking me how I'd like to um, filter um, my account groups. Do I, want to, do I want to do the selection across a row, down a column, or not at all? And you can tell by my headers that I'm going to filter across the row. So I select that. As soon as I do that, it brings my account into my layout editor, and it's asking me to filter those accounts. So I can filter accounts by quickly going select all these, but I don't want this one, this one, or this one. Um, that, again, I can select this however I want. I could also use ranges, show me accounts from 1,000 to 4,000. Uh, I could also do roll-ups, multiple roll-ups. So roll, revenue roll-up one, uh, revenue roll-up two is all revenue minus my service revenue. Uh, again, an unlimited number of those, uh, and I can do them however I want. So I'm going to just select a group of data just so I have enough in my trial balance. And we'll come down to this 84,000 account, and I say OK. Now I've made that selection of all those um, accounts. I need to pull in a description. So I'm going to find the description under account. It's an attribute of account. I pull in my description. At this time, I could do an amount, but I like to kind of keep a certain flow going. So I'm going to go in and open up my period functions. And I have all these predefined period functions. So I'm going to pull in my year to date. Uh, I'm also going to pull in my last year to date, so I'll find my last year to date here. And I'll pull that in, and then I will write a variance formula. So now I can pull in my amount, and I need to just go back to my general ledger and scroll to the bottom here, and I will pull in my amount and standard Excel functionality. I'll just drag that amount into column E, and then I'll write my, my uh, variance. So equals this minus this. And I will add a total. And I will total up these rows. And you'll see that I just right-clicked here. Uh, I'm in the design side. You see over here I'm in the design side. So if I right-click, it will allow me to create all these hot um, functions. And I have one for create sum. So I just create sum. And again, I just drag that across. So for all intents and purposes, um, I have just finished the, my trial balance. But I need to make this trial balance uh, a little bit more look a little bit more like a report. So I'll go up here and do all the things you would typically do in Excel. So make this look a little bit larger. And again, this is all just standard Excel stuff. Bold this and let's get a dark blue in here. And how about we'll offset that with white and bold this. I like to, I like to write justify my um, total and maybe center my account here and put in dollars and let's also put a total box in here as well and then put a comma separator in here so and I always got to do my logo right so uh, you could just add in your logo in here if you have the, um, your company logo right um, but for all intents and purposes the report is finished I can now go over to the run side and I can um, select the period to run the report. 
And you can see that I have all these periods that I can select from. Or if I just know the period, I could just type it in. So I'm running this now for September 2015. I say run. And it's now uh, going to run this report for me. So now you see that I have uh, a trial balance. Now, at this, this is the point where if I wanted to make any changes, I could seriously, uh, come in here and, and simply do that. So if I just go back into the design side, let's just say I don't want it to say last year to date. I just want it to say last year to date or year to date, right? Um, I, can, I can do that and then I can again go back and run the report and make sure that that report looks exactly the way um, that I want it to and I finish the report in what would take me less than five minutes. So that's BI 360 uh, quick reporting, a uh, quick build of a report, and this is Mike Kimbrough from Solver. Uh, thank you for joining me today.